This weather report brought to you by Dulux. Worth doing, worth Dulux. He is a little boy with one almighty heart. North Bouval's Ned Compton has become a local hero for not only rescuing his elderly neighbour, but changing her life since that day. 11-year-old Ned Compton is a triple zero hero, recently watching television when he heard his elderly neighbour in distress. I jumped on top of the fence, asked who needed help asked them if they wanted the ambulance. Elizabeth Taylor had fallen in her North Bouval backyard while gardening. Ned sprang into action, calling triple zero straight away. How, how do you know that this old lady's fallen down? What's happening? Um, I, I called out who needed help, and now uh, I saw them. Terry Hands took the call that day, impressed by Ned's yeah. swift action. There's an old lady that's hurt. Yeah, she's hurt. I'm riding there on my bike right now. It's the second time in recent times that he's uh, run triple zero, so he knows what to do and uh, uh, he's, yeah, he's a little champion. Riding to Elizabeth's house, Ned waited with her until paramedics arrived. I was watering the plants and I got my feet caught in the grass and I can't get anyone to mow it. I've been trying at the moment. I'll mow it for you. And since that day, Ned's been true to his word, mowing Elizabeth's lawn. On sunrise this morning, a special surprise, a new mower. We were just really impressed with uh, Ned's story and his thoughtfulness for his neighbour, Elizabeth. Now, not only a neighbour, but a friend. Ride my scooter to her house. Then we just took... I don't know what I'd have done without him. He popped around every couple of days and sees me and says hello. A friendship for the ages. Samantha Heathwood, 7 News. What a legend. Yeah, what a fabulous boy. That's great, isn't it? Well done. <laughs> With it now, Tony, you're at Manly this evening. Yes, Max, I'm at the Royal Queensland Yacht Squadron this evening with the sprawling Manly Boat Harbour behind me. It's actually the largest boat harbour in the Southern Hemisphere. With that many boats and strong winds today, we've heard a lot of whistling of those wind gusts through the mast. Let's get onto the maps. The highest wind gusts today, over 60 k's an hour. That helped push the fire dangers up to extreme levels. A bit of lingering heat too. Tops of 31 degrees for Redcliffe and Beerbarham. But with the dry air, it felt slightly cooler in the shade. Onto the satellite, these winds are thanks to a squeeze in the isobars, the lines on the map here. That's thanks to a high in the bite, pushing up against a series of troughs and lows in the Tasman Sea. Tomorrow, the troughs move away and the high takes over and moves a bit closer. The result, winds turn subtly and bring a significant cooler change. Elsewhere, storms building near a trough over Western Australia. That system should eventually move across and hit flood-affected parts of Victoria and Tasmania over the weekend. For the nation tomorrow, starting to settle down and warm up a little bit for southern capitals. Showers with tops of 17 for Melbourne and Hobart, which is warmer than they've had been, or have been for a few days, Adelaide, Sunshine and 23. For northern Queensland, cooler air reaches Mackay, but the heat builds for Townsville and Cairns. Steamy tops of 35 and 34 degrees. Over southern districts, cooling down, dry tops in the 20s from Bundaberg south along the coast and ranges, inland Roma, 24. Across the southeast, cooler, a bit of high cloud in the morning, but still plenty of blue sky. Breezy winds near the coast this time, but not the sporadic gusts we've had today. 26 the top in Bow Desert, make that 24 here at Manly and remaining Bayside suburbs. Debra in between on 25. Bodies, south south Wesley's peaking at 25 knots in the far north early morning, southeast to 20 knots in the afternoon. So in Brisbane, cloud clearing for your Thursday, a cooler 15 tonight and top of 26. Looking ahead, we start to warm up. 28 Saturday, 32 with a storm on Sunday. Nip switch, the heat hang around, hangs around. 32 Sunday, 35 Monday. Gold Coasters, Saturday, the peak of the weekend. A partly cloudy 27. Watch for sh uh, showers and storms on Sunday. Sunshine Coasters, a similar pattern with the heat lingering into the middle parts of next week. With some wind returning as well, Sharon and Max, those fire dangers are also likely to rise again. All right, Tony, thank you. That's all from us this Wednesday. Have a good night. Good night.